All right, I'm George Simons, co-founder of Solo Suit, and I'm gonna show you folks how to sound like a lawyer when you're making an answer specifically to a debt collection lawsuit. I'm gonna go over three main points for you. I got, I got three main pointers here. The first one is to cite laws. Second, be concise. And third, threaten bankruptcy. I'm gonna go over each of these three pointers in more depth. All right, first one, cite laws. All right, you are in a lawsuit, it means you gotta familiarize with yourself with the law. You gotta know what's going on. And that means you gotta look at the actual statute. I right, so get over that fear right now. Go and look at the statute that you're dealing with. Uh, there's lots of websites online. Um, there's a lot of places to look. It can kind of get confusing and overwhelming. Uh, you should just go to uh, Wex, which is like Cornell's uh, legal library online. It's a great website. It's uh, the most easy one to use. It, it's, it's very user friendly, uh, it's pretty simple, it's made for people who are basically in a, law, in a legal problem without an attorney. Uh, so the URL is just law.cornell.edu. Great website, go check it out. Alright, and when you're getting into looking at the laws, you gotta know, you gotta remember, just a refresher here, there's three different types of law. The first type of law comes from Congress, and that's a statute. Right? That's usually what we think of when we think laws, is stuff that comes from Congress, like you know, your senator, makes a law um, in Congress and then you know, that becomes part of the U.S. Code. Uh, next up is rules. Uh, executive agencies like the uh, FDA, they make rules uh, that impact how we live and those become laws as well. And those are actually way more plentiful, a lot more rules than there are uh, statutes. Uh, then the third type is you got case law. Okay, so when a judge, when a court hears a case, and rules on that case, they're actually making case law. So they interpret the statute and they determine how it applies in real life to actual legal cases. Uh, case law, you know, not to cite a controversial example, like one, one, one example might be uh, Roe v. Wade. Okay, so the Supreme Court and Roe v. Wade uh, determined how abortion law applies to everybody in the U.S. and they decided case law, they created case law in that, in that case. Those are the three types of laws. And then you gotta remember, that they actually double, um, at least. So you have the uh, United States laws, but then you also have them for the local state government, okay? Because the state government, uh, they have their own Congress, they have their governor, the executive, and they also got their own courts, they got the judiciary system. Right? So it's those three types times two. 